Man, uh, the women's division uh, just lost somebody. They lost oh. Jay Cargill. Oh. I mean, oh, last week we came in here. I wouldn't say that. But last yeah. week we came in here and we talked about her return to AEW. And this week we're, we we got to talk about her leaving. Because yeah. they said she she already over there in, in Orlando. She went from Jacksonville to Orlando real quick. You feel me? She said it only take a couple of hours. You feel me? I'm straight. Well, ain't that far. Well, it's pretty that far, but you know, still in Florida. Damn, nah, Jay bro, Cargill, Florida, Like, nah, bro. We in Florida. She like she don't gotta be in Florida for that. Like, we we going to Universal Studios. We going we going over here. They got the Ripley Believe It or Not Museum. Like, you you don't know. <laughs> they got the uh the Magic they got the they got the big cat, you feel me? Uh shit. You feel me? Joe Exotic. What's the what's the girl name? Karen? Carol? Uh, Carol Baskins. Carol Baskins. Yeah, you feel me? So she could she could have been doing that. You feel me? It, it ain't just, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just WWE. It ain't just wrestling. You feel me? Like she's a star. You feel me? She could do a bunch of other shit. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you Maybe go kick it with Joe Exotic girl? <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Jade and WWE. Y'all, y'all have thoughts of what y'all expect, what y'all think could happen, or like, how do y'all feel about her jumping ship here? I want it to be. I want them to. First off, I want wrestling fans to. Um, what do they say? Temper your expectations. We don't need to throw her to the goddamn wolves immediately. You don't do that. I hope they just I hope they just just kinda just kinda slow play it. But you know what I mean? Like get her in here, get her in there. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm happy for her, man. She deserves it. She's a, she got the, uh, the the she definitely got the look. When they talk about that look, like she got all the look. And if Girl could be there, shit. That's gonna be her first um like she gotta fight Girl first. I mean, once you fight Girl then we're gonna be lit. Then we'll be off to the races. Like, I- I honestly think, like, I'm um, I'm sorry about this, but I feel like the first rivalry in should be Natalia. Oh, <laughs> like, like, bro, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna be like it's like it's like going in and you going up against Dolph Ziggler or going oh. up against like whoever like AEW. It's like, yo, this is a measuring stick. Like this, yes. this person you gotta go up against. Like I'm thinking, like first rivalry in, like you play it safe, go with Natalia, and then we can start getting like. Start going off and like, oh, putting up against uh bigger names and stuff like that. I mean, not bigger names, but you know what I mean. Like, we can start like mixing it up with that. But I feel like this is the most like anticipation that we've had around a signing for WWE in a long, long time. Because usually, like, you get the news like, oh, such and such is on their way to WWE, and then you be like, okay, you know, that's cool. Then they get over it and you're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Whoever showed up. And then you kind of move on. But it has been like a constant, like, since last week. It has been mm-hmm. a constant stream Plus. of news. People like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, she going over here. Like, oh, she going to be over. She not going to be in NXT. She going to be straight to the main roster. Oh, they got big plans for her. This type of contract, what she's getting. Like, we don't really see that. Like, the last time I can remember, like, anything, like, like close to this is when they were talking about uh, Jay White possibly, like, jumping over. But that was probably, like, maybe, like, maybe a fourth of the traction that this is getting yeah so like i feel like when when it does happen it's going to be a big deal and i think like in the beginning like i said play it safe <laughs> like don't like bro throw her throw her an easy one that is the easy one that's crazy like, niggas asked me what i would do i, I said bro don't give me the pin bro i'm a booker against natty for five weeks niggas gonna be mad at me bro like i'm just saying bro. like i don't know I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think she should go to NXT. Thank you. I don't. I, 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 seen, I, don't, think, I don't want that. I see. Way. I see. I see a couple of y'all in the chat saying it's NXT. She take the title off of Becky Lynch. I don't think she should go to NXT. Uh, it's it's too many like it's too many women down there that I feel like that still need that that spotlight. And I feel like if we throw Jay down there and give her too much time and give her all of the the adulation all the and all the TVs, yeah. you feel me? Like, cause I'm like, okay, cool. Cause like now I'm, 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 I'm looking at Jay to NXT and now I'm worried about lash. You feel me? Oh uh, yeah. Or Lola Vice. Yeah. I'm not worried about Lola Vice at all. Oh, She's going to be the best oh. technical wrestler mm-hmm. since Daniel Bryan, Bryan Daniel. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Go. <laughs> like, what are you saying about like them, like moving <sighs> on if they got, if they got her down there, like they kind of like dropped the ball with Lash Legend. Like the thing is, like WWE is very like 
ended at with like they get somebody they were like oh yeah we don't so need you that. anymore because we got this person it's like andy dropping woody like i don't want to play with you anymore i don't want to they've been doing that for years bro <laughs> They've been doing that. They've been doing that since like the nineties. Like, so I already know. Like, put it on the main roster. And then the other thing is, like, she already, like, she already has an audience behind her, a following mm-hmm. behind her. Like, yeah. you put her on Monday Night Raw. Like, yo, y'all got to compete with Monday Night Football somehow. Like, <laughs> bro, look, 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 at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this Nubian goddess right here. Yeah, I think like, it's hey. tough to, to figure out where to put her. Because, like, you put her on SmackDown. Bianca's over there. Everybody's gonna be like, uh, uh, they go, they been saying that. That was the first thing they said. I mean, like, you're not gonna go into it like a Neanderthal. I mean, like, not right away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I, I see everybody saying, uh, Bianca versus J, Bianca versus J, Bianca versus J. And then I heard Booker T say they should be a team, like the New they Harlem Heat. Team. He said they could I be the New Harlem Heat. Nigga, and I put him in the red gear. Bianca already got some red Harlem Heat gear, you know. So it'd be so all Jay got to do is go to her and ask her, "Hey, make me up some gear." Like, bro, like, hey, I said, hey, let's bro, go. like, go, let's hey, go. hey, man, stop making these opinions on that. Go say your brother because he's doing some bullshit over with uh <laughs> with uh with dude over there talking Vince about Russo. the black white pocket yeah. Vince Russo. Go say your brother, bro. Not talking about making these women attack team. Go go say your family, bro. Be a family man. <laughs> Be a family man. He doing some okay. big bullshit, bro. <laughs> but like, yo, shout out to Mr. All Days Off. Like, yeah, bro. Like, I'm seeing these constant pictures of collages of uh, Bobby Lashley, the Street Profits, Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, uh, Omos, MVP. Cody like, Rose. every black wrestler under the it's sun. Joke, right? Y'all be like, yo, just put all them Rico. together and they could be the new nation domination. Like, bro, I I want to smack fire out of each and every one of y'all. Like, I'm like, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm putting bro. all the niggas together. Like, can we just like each other from afar? Man. What's ahead now? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? You stay out my way, I stay out your way. That's crazy. She's going to fight Nia Jax. Watch. Somebody gotta slay. Somebody gotta slay that dragon. And that's why I feel like, dang, putting her over there with Nia is like, I feel like Jade is like a natural heel, too. But so is Nia. So it's like friction. You know what I'm saying? Did AEW drop the ball with Jade? No, they gave her the belt and then let her hold it for the longest ever. Yeah, like, thank I think you, she was just I, like I'm tired of y'all niggas. Sometimes you get tired bro, of a job and you go to another one. I've been seeing posts where like AEW really dropped the ball with Jade Carlin. I'm like, she's had she had the TBS women's title from its inception to like a few months ago. They did not <laughs> drop the ball on her. Like what, what CJ said, like, yo, sometimes you just want to move on. Sometimes you just want to be like, I want to see what they got going on over there. Like people like every time they're like, oh yeah, man, I didn't dream of going to WWE. I never dreamed of like going over there. I always wanted to be here. I'm like, this shit didn't exist when you were sound, a fan. Stop fucking lying. You wanted like to Eddie, go to WWE. This sound like Eddie Kings. <laughs> I've never liked their wrestling. I hate it over there. I always wanted to be here. I'm not a wrestler. I'm a fighter. This shit, this, this shit didn't exist when you were like watching wrestling, bro. Stop. Stop lying. Like, I hate that so much. Like, I never dreamed about walking down the ramp of WrestleMania. I'm like, you a liar, You're bro. A liar. I, I, I know a liar. you a li- you a liar, bro. But like, but yeah. Why lie? In front of all of us, so we know you're lying. Know, yeah, like you getting you getting posts like that, and you're also getting posts like, see, uh, when now she's going over there, they really gonna show how garbage she is. I'm like, bro, y'all mad? You got one side that's mad because she left, and you got the other side is like mad because she's coming to the company or whatever. Like, mm. bro, stop. Can I can I play devil's advocate for a moment right. with Jay? Right. Go ahead, because I need to I need to rest my voice because that Booker T voice started hurting my throat. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Then, then with that said, I, I don't uh, recommend you try Black Snow next. <laughs> oh. Uh, Booker T with that dead throat skin. Oh, Booker T. Oh, he's looking at Creed. He's looking at Creed. So if I could play devil's advocate for a moment with Jade. For a while, Jade was saying, I do want to have matches with the with the other women, though. 
I do want to get in the ring with 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 somebody. You feel me? She had a match with Thunder Rosa. You feel me? But she was like, I, I do want to have those those matches with the with the AW Women's Division, the Women's Title Division. Like, let's not forget that the whole conversation around the TBS title when they when they first introduced that was not unlike the same conversation that we were having about the world heavyweight title with Seth. Is it a consolation prize? They're saying she's not green. She's not necessarily good enough to work with the the, the best workers of the company. But how do you get better? You got to play somebody that's better reps. than you. That's the only way. <laughs> okay, so cool. So with that said, reps, right? Let's talk about reps. They had her on exclusively damn near on Rampage. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Why only Rampage? Okay, cool. So let's move on from that. Let's move on from that. Remember, remember they was going to start doing house shows. Oh, shit, we got house shows coming. No house shows no more because, uh, you feel me, Warner Brothers Discovery said they're going to give us a bag if we do another show on Saturdays. So them Saturdays that we was going to do house shows that you was going to get better on, it's over. Oh, also, by the way, uh, that program that you had, whatever we was doing with Bow Wow, gone, taken away. I don't know what happened Bro, with that. It just disappeared. I, that okay. that blew my mind. Like he was on Dynamite like one time. Yeah. And then they were just like, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this shit. Like you had so many options. He could have recruited another women's wrestler to go up against her. He could have been in their corner. There was so much he could have done with that. And they just threw that shit out the window. And I was Next. like really like pissed about it. But go ahead. The baddie section. It was there and gone. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm saying, like, why are these things happening and then taken away? And then why are these things just like not happening? Why is she not getting matches on Dynamite? Why is she not able to have a match with Tony Storm? Why they won't do the Britt Baker match? Why they won't? You feel me? I'm just like, why? And I don't know if she felt a way about that. I don't really care. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't I don't feel super strongly about it. But I'm saying these are things that I noticed. I don't know what happened to those things. So I'm like, was she happy about that? Was she cool with that? Like I seen some people saying that like nothing was like enough for her. Like she was kind of like the uh, I seen some people saying like the the baddies was like her. Uh, she she like G Nation right here. Boom. Uh, Jay got real beef with with uh, with Red Velvet. There, I, there were some people saying there were some people saying that her Red Velvet and Kiera Hogan wasn't really getting along. You feel me? So I don't know what happened with that. All I'm saying is there were things that they were doing with her and things that they just stopped doing with her. So I don't know how happy you would be if your job is like, yeah, we're going to give you this, 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 and this. And then they're like, you know what? Check this out. We changed our mind. We're not going to give you this, this, or this. But you could carry around this TBS title. <laughs> you could carry around this TBS title for a little bit and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. And to be exclusively on TNT. Malik, Malik in the chat says, Jay kept saying she didn't want to do stuff. Find a report for me. Where's that at? Who, who reported like that? that as well. but, uh, I, I would like to see that. But damn, bro! Like you, man, you like, man, you making me like jump up to the other side. I'm like, no, I'm like, like, fuck like it, Jay man. Did? She that is right. Too, man. Like, bro, I got. I remember one time I got promised a raise and I didn't get that shit, so I'm feeling this shit personally. Now. I'm like, hey, <laughs> it was like, hey, you you about to get a raise? And I was like, hey, where the money? I was like, hey, man, look, yeah, company broke. <laughs> ben, yo, Ben, Benjamin, Benjamin, I'll call you. I'll call you, Benjamin. Like I understand we owe you money, Benjamin. I'll call you. Yo. But uh, but yeah, man, like that. But like, all things like considered with her running AEW and whatever, I think like what they're saying about moving her to the main roster is the right move. I think like the time she spent in AEW was necessary for the time she's going to be in WWE. And I don't know what her first rivalry is. Like, maybe it is Natalia. Maybe they do something with her and Nia Jax. I don't know. But did you see? Did, did y'all see that video of uh of what was it? Stevie Richards like breaking down no. like the entire return of Nia Jackson, like calling out like every unsafe move and be like, "Yo, man, this was a stupid thing to do. That was unsafe." Yeah, like she like she must have paid attention because like on Raw that that Samoan drop completely different. The bonsai <laughs> drop completely held different. on to the rope. Ropes completely different. Like, like, I, like you can say what you want. Like, I saw like some tweets like hit the timeline. She was like, "All y'all do is cry or whatever." I'm like, "You, you was paying attention to that video. You seen the video?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, Salute Stevie Richards. Yeah, he does a lot of those. 
Yo, Stevie Richards and Maven are making money, man. Yo, man. <laughs> Cookie, man. Maven. Yo, they are taking over the market. This nigga Maven said, let me tell you how I got steroids. <laughs> Wait a uh, second. It's like 1090 Jake. We're like, yo, show us the paper. We're like, yo, we got the paperwork. Yo, this dude. Yo. Yo. He has like a whole video of like, yeah, man, I fucked with this guy. This guy was an asshole. I didn't really know that nigga like that. And these shits are getting like 200,000 views, yeah. a million views. I'm like, this is crazy. You probably making more money now on YouTube than you did your entire run. That's crazy. I doubt that. Highly doubt that YouTube doesn't pay shit. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a joke. You stepping on my material. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. Oh my bad. I'm, you know what? My bad. You on your way, Robin Williams. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you on your way, you on your way, man. You on your way, you feel me? So, okay, so boom. Jade coming into WWE, boom, 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 boom. We'll see how that goes. Salute to her. I'm excited uh, for whatever comes of that, just because I love seeing uh, a black woman do really, really dope shit. Oh, wow. Um, this is funny. I just, uh, I just, on point. 